you guys welcome back to my channel forgive me at how tired i look i just woke up from a nap it's sunday it is 3 49 p.m i'm having some coffee because i am just not here today but i had this really random idea i am also like vlogging right now um i'm reading books that my sister has picked for me uh, i don't know if that video will be out before this one or after this one but if it's before you should go watch it and if it's after then stay tuned it's coming i have until thursday to read the books that she picked out for me and i read one chapter of those three books it's been you know kind of a time um and i was like oh my gosh how am i supposed to get all of these books read when i have so many paintings to do for people for christmas i have six paintings to do it's december 18th and let's just say i have six left and i'm still missing two people in my family because i haven't decided if i am going to have time to paint for them let's just go ahead and, let's just go ahead and add them to the list why not okay so we have eight paintings and i was like how the heck am i supposed to get all of these paintings done light bulb janelle why don't you just crank them out as if they're books and do it in a 24-hour period so we are going to be trying something new today you guys you guys are going to witness me paint for 24 hours i still haven't decided if i'm going to sleep if i end up not sleeping i will add that time on to another day so that i still paint for the full 24 hours during that painting time I also want to be reading so audiobooks to the rescue sadly none of the books that i need to read for the other video are on audiobook so i can't read any of the books that my sister wants me to read so we're just going with like a whole different tbr for the next 24 hours shall we i actually have already done two paintings i will insert a picture of the painting that i did for my mother-in-law so i painted this one of all of her kids for her and then wrote like her favorite bible verse on the bottom so i did this for her and then let me go get the one that i did for my best friend which i'm really excited about my best friend is absolutely in love with jesus like i always say that jesus is her hobby <laughs> because i feel like it's all she does is just spends time with jesus she has always had this vision she had this vision one time of like jesus giving her a bouquet of flowers and it has been like really sentimental to her and um has just really like kept her motivated and it just brings a lot of emotion for her so i painted this picture of her and jesus face to face and he's giving her a bouquet of flowers i'm really really proud of this one i love how this one turned out it really is the vision like for sure yeah so they're gonna be a lot like this i think the next ones that i do are gonna be a little bit more like pigmented because this is just kind of like very pastel let's see how many books i can read and how many paintings i can get done in 24 hours Okay, so the first painting that we have to do, I kind of have to be methodical about this because there's certain people that I'm going to be seeing a little bit before Christmas. Like, I'm doing a painting for my aunt and my grandmother on my dad's side of the family, and we're going to be seeing them on Friday. So I definitely need to do their paintings first because I'm going to be seeing them soonest. So uh, I think I'm going to do my Aunt Jamie's painting first. Um, and I say it's for my Aunt Jamie, it's really for their whole family, but I know that it's going to mean most to her. Um, so I am going to be painting a picture of their um, toy poodle that just passed away two weeks ago, I think. Um, and a lot of people have been stepping in and giving them little ornaments and stuff um, with their dog Paisley um, on it. And I just feel like it'll be like perfect for them. So that's what I'm going to paint. I just have to find a really good picture either of paisley or of a black toy poodle so that i know how to paint it i've never painted an animal before and i've never dealt with just black like that so this is going to be really interesting because you have to get the black right or it's all going to look like the same 
shade and there's gonna be no dimension to it so hopefully we can pull this one off if not i have no idea what i'm going to do so let's attempt to paint paisley So it is currently 6.09. Um, I have gotten a shower. As you can see, I haven't washed my face yet, but I got a shower. Um, and Jonathan and I are actually about to eat dinner, so I'm going to take a pause to eat dinner. But I did finish my first painting of this 24-hour period, and I am listening to Love Light Farms uh, by BK Borison, and I am on chapter 8 of 26. So not super far into this but it's super cute so far and I'm really liking it. So this is the painting. It took forever to get this like fur texture on Paisley's head. It took a long time and then I, this little flannel piece I think is just so cute. And then I just did some like pink splotches. I did those first so that I could do the black over top um, just to make it a little bit more girly. And then I just wrote her name with a little heart by it with my stamps. And I think it turned out so, so cute. And I definitely think my aunt is going to love it. Really, really proud of this one. I feel like we are starting off strong. So hopefully the rest of my paintings will end up this way. Um, I have yet to finish my coffee. I'm working on it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to paint next, but I am going to have some dinner so that I have some fuel to get through this painting and then I think Jonathan and I I think Jonathan's gonna pull up his drawing tablet while I paint and we're just kind of gonna have a little art sesh and watch a Christmas movie I think so I won't be listening to an audiobook but I am gonna be watching a Christmas movie so I'll go back to you guys after dinner It is 7.54, we just finished our movie and I just finished my second painting for my grandmother and my grandfather. Um, so I'll show you guys what I did. So this is the painting that I chose to do. This is a picture of them from the mountains and they really love to go up there every single year. So I just painted a picture of the two of them and then I just wrote this verse that says, as the father has loved me, so I have loved you, John 15, nine. And I really love the way that it turns out. I really loved I really love the look of these stamps with like the paintings. I feel like they like just go together really well. I tried to do a little bit more like pigmentation in this painting than I've done in some of my previous paintings and I really like how it turned out. I like how it's pretty simple, um, but I definitely don't love this painting as much as the dog painting that I just did. I really think that one turned out so good. We have some more paintings to figure out. So, okay, so I still have one, two, three, four. I have four paintings to do for sure, but I have two possible paintings that I might throw in for two of my friends. I don't know because I don't know if I'm doing gifts with them this year. So I need to find out from another friend if they got me gifts. Because if they got me gifts, then I feel like I need to paint something for them. I probably will move on to someone like my mom or my Nona, which is my grandmother on my mom's side. Um, just because I know what I'm painting for them already and both of them take place in the same setting. They both are recreations of a picture from my wedding. Um, I'm gonna take a quick little bathroom break and then I am going to start someone's painting. I don't know which one. Okay, it 
It's 9.15. I have finished my third painting of the night and I am on chapter 13 of 26. So I'm halfway through Love Lake Farms. Still loving it. I think it's so cute. I love her main characters. I'm having a really good time with it. Um, and I'm excited to finish it. I'm already feeling super tired, which is not a good sign. So I might just need to like step back and just like take a break from painting for a second and just like maybe go do nothing. I finished my last one. I kind of showed you guys. Um, this one I think turned out really, really cute. It kind of reminds me of like when fashion designers, like they'll design like a wedding dress and the way that they sketch it is very much like this style. And I really, really like how it turned out. So having a really good time with it. I need to finish a couple like black outlining stuff for this one. Um, and then I don't think I'm going to write anything on this one. I think my grandmother is going to love it exactly how it is. So I'm going to leave it just like that. Um, but I'm going to take a little break and then I will come back to you and let you know what we're going to paint next. Good morning, friends. So, well, I shouldn't even say morning because it's literally afternoon the next day. So let me explain myself. I was like really tired, you know, I was really tired. And 30 minutes later, I started my period. So it makes sense. Um, but then I fell asleep because I made the mistake of laying in bed. So I fell asleep. And then I woke up this morning and I had horrible cramps. I mean, so bad. I, I really just wanted to cry. It was awful. I spent time with the husband, like the good wife that I aspire to be. Um, so I spent time with Jonathan and so I didn't do any painting or updating of you guys. Uh, but it's now 1 p.m. So... We only did like six hours of painting yesterday. I finished three paintings. I'm really proud of myself for that. Um, but we still have like 18 more hours of painting to go. So obviously I'm gonna do as much painting as I can during the day today. And then this vlog will definitely continue into tomorrow so that I can get all of my painting done. We're gonna, we're gonna work on, I think I'm going to do my brother's girlfriend's painting next because I this one's going to be really really difficult so some artists if you're if you're an artist and you're watching this you're probably going to understand but there are four hands in this painting I hate painting hands because I'm so bad at it but literally all four of them are in this picture let's just try and tackle it I'm going to continue listening to I think I'm going to continue listening to Love Light Farms because I am enjoying it. So we'll continue listening to this and then I will probably update you guys mid painting though because I feel like this one's going to take a while. So. already tell that this painting is going to take the longest I just finished the sketch it took me half an hour to do like just the sketch of them like just the outline of them um which is the longest it's ever taken me to do a sketch for any of the other paintings so and I'm kind of going to map out like the background a little bit but not a lot but I'm going to show you guys what the sketch looks like right now. They kind of look a little bit creepy. Bear with me. I'm working on it. So this is the picture. I think I have it zoomed in. Yeah. So this is the, stop it. This is the picture. This is the sketch. So they look really creepy. Like their faces look really creepy right now. Cause I just had to outline where things are going to be. And like their lips look really dark and whatever. But so far, I think it looks pretty good considering. I'm gonna have his head come out this way a little bit. Let's see how this goes. I have finished it, I think. I love everything about this except their faces don't love it but it's too late for me to go back so now I just have to gift it to her and the heart the worst part about this is that she is an artist she paints 
So why did I think that it would be a good idea to gift a painter a painting by a rookie? I don't know. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. But it's too late now. So I'm just gonna show you what we have. I just, I don't know. You guys let me know. What do you think? Like, I feel like it looks really cute, but their faces, oh, I don't know, guys. I'm going to clean up my station a little bit and make some room for my friend to come over. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. It's the same it's the same day. It's the same day, don't worry. It's 8:35. Um and I need to be heading to bed because I have to be up early in the morning. Um and then I have a meeting and then I'm coming back to paint for the rest of the hours or the rest of the paintings that I have left. So, don't worry. I'm still doing this challenge. It's just getting a little bit more spread out than I had anticipated. So, um I'm I'm going to go to bed now and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I am back again, you guys. I was planning to have all of today to make up the hours for, you know, this 24 hours, but that did not happen. Um, the meeting that I had this morning ran a little bit long, and then Jonathan and I had some errands to run, um, and then we just decided to have like a little date day because we were having a rough morning, so we just decided to have like a little date. Um, and then by the time we got home, I had to edit a video, and just a lot of things got in the way. So, I'm going to try and get at least two paintings done tonight, and then I'll only have two more for tomorrow. So we're definitely going to be able to finish the paintings within this 24 hours. I feel like I should just call this a painting vlog at this point because this is not a true painting for 24 hours, but bear with me. I'm new at this whole painting for 24 hours thing, okay? If I do this again, I will, I'll be more organized about it, okay? I'll just say that. Um, so yes, hopefully you guys can give me some grace here because I've never done this before and I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I'm about to work on another painting. I don't know which painting I want to do. Actually, that's not true. I want to work on me and one of my best friend's paintings. Um, her name is Jocelyn, and her and I have been friends since 20... I think since 2015, so it's been seven, almost eight years, and it's been amazing. And um, I... I'm doing a painting for her. I want to do a picture of her and I, um, but we are that best friend duo that don't take pictures together. So I don't have any pictures um, of us except from like forever ago. So I think what I'm gonna do is morph us together in a photo. So like I'm going to take a photo of her that I like and a photo of me that I like, and then I'm going to merge them together into one cute best friend photo if that makes sense. I kind of have a vision for this. Hopefully it turns out how I'm thinking. Um, also that sound you hear in the background, I am heating, warming up some tea that I had earlier. We had, I had like this peppermint tea and it was so good, but I didn't get to finish it. So I'm just reheating it. Um, so yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure out exactly what I want this painting to look like for her and I, and then do that one. So I'll update you guys in a second. I need to get my tea.
tell you guys. So I apologize first for the lack of updates at the end of this vlog. Um, but I was getting to the point where I felt like my shots were just going to be really, really repetitive. So I just decided to fly through the last couple of paintings and then I would give you guys a overall update at the end. Um, I didn't end up finishing another book. I did start um, in a holidays, I think. Um, but I only got about halfway through that. Um, I do plan to finish it, but obviously not in this vlog. Um, but I did want to show you guys all of the paintings and go through all of them again. <sighs> Just as an update, especially the last painting of the last painting I did for my sister because I did no filming whatsoever. So let's recap a little bit. So I have this one for my friend Ashley. We have Paisley, which you guys saw, which I still love. Oh, I'm just going to turn this around. I don't want to pull these down. Let's have this one for my grandparents. We have this one for my Nona, my grandparents on my mom's side. We have this one uh, for my brother's girlfriend. I ended up putting a heart over their faces with the day that they started dating because their faces just looked so creepy to me. Um, but it ended up looking really good, I feel like, even with the heart over top. So, love that one. This one is for my mom. This one we have for my friend Jocelyn. We have this one for my friend Audrey. And lastly, I have to hide this one over here because my sister is at my house right now. And then this one for my sister. So yes, those are all the paintings. I had a lot of fun, but I also don't want to paint again for like a year maybe. That was so much painting. Let me know if you guys want to see this video, like this kind of video more often where I just kind of do like different kinds of 24 hour challenges um, because it definitely was fun and I really enjoyed doing something different um, but also still incorporating reading. Um, but yes, that is everything for today's video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one.